All right, so today is the final part of my glitters and toppers collection. Um, I have two little sections. One of them are just random polishes that were either sitting on my summer rack and so they weren't in the drawers or they're in um, like pulled aside for my monthly manis that I just hadn't sorted and put away yet. And then I have a small little section that is basically going to be a haul. I had gotten a lot of glitters over the summer and I was going to initially just do a separate haul video a while back when I first got them. But then I realized that I would very shortly be starting my um, glitter collection and so I decided just to save it for that rather than making a separate video. All right, let's go ahead and start with the little random ones that were, you know, in various places. Um, first one we have is Orly's Sparkling Garbage. Love this one. I did a twin with Luis and I just hadn't put this one away yet. I love, love this topper. It's an old school favorite. Then we have Bed of um, Rogue's Bed of Roses. Beautiful. This is my thinned out version. Really pretty. Then we have, let me just grab the other one too. I have... Two more that were on my summer rack. Um, 1,000 fringe daisies. And then delphinium out of water, their blue version. I really wanna wear this over a neon yellow. to kind of give like a flounder from The Little Mermaid. Okay, then we have Savina's Diamond Ice. Different Dimensions, Hello from the Other Tide. This is new to me. Um, two more glam, um, glam polishes. This one is Rainbows and Unicorns. I love this one, this is so pretty. It's just a really fun mix of rainbow glitters. Super cute. Okay, and then Blues dressed up like rock and roll. Super pretty. I love Glam Polishes toppers. Their flaky toppers are just so good. And their glitter toppers. Their flakies and their glitter toppers are really intriguing to me at the moment. Okay, then we have Sally Hansen's First Sour Then Sweet. So fun, just a tiny white speckled topper. Really fun over Pretty much anything actually. Okay, and we have Color Club. Um, recently, after I bought all the Color Club neons, I went crazy and bought a bunch of Color Club toppers, and I've already started wearing a couple of them. This one is one of their chunky glitters. This one is Daydream Believer. Okay, and then one of their shimmers. Their shimmers are amazing these shimmer toppers that i bought are just gorgeous um, they remind me of the ion p shimmer shifting shimmer toppers that i love so much this one is bright nights big city from what i've heard that's a typo and it's supposed to be bright lights look at that so pretty Okay, and then let me just grab the other one that I just am actually wearing today. Um, this is Catch a Later Dudes by Polish for Days. And then you can't really see it, but on top I'm wearing Color Club on the bright side. You can't see it in this lighting, but it's got just the tiniest little faint shimmer. Like, let me see, I have, here we go. Like, look how perfectly these match together. So beautiful absolutely love these color club shimmers i'm so glad i finally got them they've been on my wish list for years i just never got around to getting them i'm so glad i finally got them look at that so beautiful it adds just the daintiest little sparkle okay then we have a hollow tacos everything taco i wore this already i just um hadn't gotten around to putting it away yet actually i'm in a conundrum right now um, this one and then the this one I have a couple other glitters that I've worn already and they no longer fit in any of my two glitter drawers um, I'm 
completely overstuffed on my homers. Um, they're stuffed full. I don't have any room left in any of them to add any polishes and I don't have room in my closet to add another helmer and I refuse to put start putting helmers in my house if I can't contain them. With the exception of my office, I do have one helmer but that's for storage supplies, um, like my Never Naked storage supplies. Um, so I don't know what to do. I don't have space for another helmer and I have pretty much all these glitters that I'm showing you today, I have nowhere to put them. So I guess that's gonna be part of my storage overhaul when I redo my storage this year. I have to figure something out. Okay, then we have Glitter Glam by Sally Hansen. I haven't worn this one yet, but it's on my rack. Okay, then we have I Saw the Shine by Moonshine Manny. Really pretty, I love this one. I've worn this one a couple times. Beautiful, I love it. Okay, um, Fancy Gloss Opal, gorgeous. I love this one, beautiful. Okay, then we have Quixotic Polish, Quiltic, Grounds for Hope. It's pronounced Quixotic, but I want to call it Quiltic. I think Quiltic just sounds better, but I know it's Quixotic. Um, this one is Grounds for Hope. Beautiful. This one's been sitting um, on my polishes that I want to wear for Fugly Prugly Friday. I have a combo that I want to wear this with and I just haven't gotten around to wearing it. Okay, then we have Candy Lacquer's Sugar Shock. This one has bled completely. I don't know if you can tell, but the whole base is pink now. So I have to wear this over pink or I might just end up decluttering it, we'll see. Really cute though. Okay, then we have Sally Hansen Triple Shine Scale Up. I found this one at Ulta a while back. Not Ulta, um, TJ Maxx. That pretty. Okay, this one I believe my swatch picture, you really can barely even see it. I should have swatched it over black. Okay, then we have Finger Paints Feeling Bamboozled. This one is so cute. However, this one you 100% have to do glitter placements. The base is just way too um, base heavy and you don't even really get any of those glitters out. Um, so you do have to fish for them. I'm going to buy some orange sticks and I'm going to, I mean, I don't really need orange sticks, but I was using them when I was at Krista's. I was doing some glitter placement and it was so fun and easy using an orange stick. So I think I'll buy some and then I can play around with glitter placements this year all right next little section are all the haul polishes that I haven't shown you before um, okay first I have a few oh, I thought there was a yeah three um, I've had these Orleys on my wish list since they came out either last summer or the year before and I just couldn't find them on any of the like wholesale um, websites and I finally was able to get all three that I wanted. First one is Turn It Up. Look at that. Beautiful. So pretty. And then I've already worn this one. It has an amazing formula. I'm so glad I finally got it. This one is Dancing Queen. This is a blue, green, and purple glitter. Um, glitters and then it has little tiny silver glitters so beautiful love this amazing formula you don't have to fish for anything beautiful okay and then the third one is party animal and this is their yellow pink and orange version again with the little silver glitters so so fun I've really been, this last year, um, really been craving more like rainbow toppers. And between this and all the glam polishes that I've bought in the last year, I'm pretty set on rainbows now. All right, then let me see, two more random Sally Hansons and then the rest 
our color club on oh, this one OPI. Um, OPI's Pure Wet My Whistle. I had this for many, many years and then eventually, I wanna say I probably got down to maybe like this and then it just got so thick and gloopy and this was before I knew how to really restore polishes with base. And I've always been intrigued in getting it again and then recently I've seen a lot of people um, sharing this polish. Um, Amanda from the Nail Polish Hound shared it. I want to say it was maybe like her top 10, maybe Topic Tuesday. And then I think I saw someone else with it as well. Um, maybe it was Carolina, I'm not quite sure. And it just really made me want to get it again. And so when I was placing various orders in different websites, I found this and got it again. So pretty, I'm happy to have this one again. Looking at it now, it's kind of reminding me of Zoya's Dallas, but that's okay, I'm glad to have them both. Okay, then we have Sally Hansen's House is Lit. Okay, and then I just picked this up when I was with Krista in Idaho. This is Get Glad from the Sally Hansen Pride Collection. It's not coming across, but it's got a pretty little shimmer. And then when I was swatching this, I actually had a hard time. I don't remember if I have to do glitter placement, if it's base heavy, I don't quite remember. Um, but I'm pretty sure I did have to do a little bit of glitter placement on this one. So hopefully I like this when I actually wear it. It does have a pretty shimmer that's running through it that I don't think is gonna come across on camera. I think you can kind of see that greenish shimmer at the top. Anyways, really interesting, and I hope it translates nicely on the nails. All right, the rest are all color clubs. Um, three different finishes here. I have their more chunky glitters that are just like bright rainbow colors, and then I have more of the soft shimmers, and then I have a couple of the kind of like really fine speckled toppers. Let me break them all up evenly, okay. All right, let's go ahead and start with the chunky glitters. Um, I wore the blue version already, and then I have four more. Um, this is the yellow version. This one is Woodstock or Bust. Now, I was super excited about these. I've had these on my wish list for years, and I just never got around to wearing them because I wasn't really into chunky glitters. I'm still not totally into chunky glitters, although I am, like I'm more into um, sparse glitters or Flakies, obviously, but glitters, I'm more into like the fine speckled look. Um, but I have been enjoying um, doing uh, jelly sandwiches. So when I wore the blue one, I wore it as a topper. I didn't wear it as a jelly sandwich. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't love it as much as I was hoping I would love it. I do think I'll really like these as a glitter sandwich though. So I'm hoping. So here's the yellow version. Did I say this is called Woodstock? Or bust. Okay, then we have the green and blue version. Oh, and they all have, by the way, um, white glitters mixed in. So this one is blue, green, and white, and this one is go, go, green. Okay, and then kind of the pinky orange yellow version. This one is do the twist. Actually, this one's kind of similar to the Orly one, except for the Orly one, instead of having white, it has silver. It's got a similar pink and green and orange mix, um, pink, yellow, and orange mix. Um, did I say what this is called? Do the twist. All right, and then I have a bright pink one. This one is two different shades of pink and then white. And this one is my generation. Okay, then we have the shimmers. Um, I absolutely love these shimmers. They are so amazing. We have the two that I already showed you that I um, have already worn, these two. And then these ones are not worn yet. This one is Lady Liberty. Actually, I did wear this one. 
Yeah, I've worn Lady Liberty, I believe. I did. Look at that. Look at that. That is just amazing. This is the first one that was ever on my wish list as far as the Color Club shimmers years and years ago. And then I don't think I realized they had, when I was going back to get this finally, I don't think I realized that they had so many of um, the same finish. And I'm so glad they do. Um, this one is a million dollar listing. Beautiful, look at that. So pretty, oh my goodness. Okay, then we have Glow Get Him. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, and then the last one is, uh, what is this one called? Never a Dull Moment. This one has more of a frosty finish. I don't know if I'm gonna love this. Um, I did try it over a couple different things. I tried this in a combo where I wore another glitter on top. I think it was this one um, on my nail wheel. And I did like it because this kind of masks the frostiness of this. And you just see that kind of pretty shimmer peek through. But I'll have to play around with this one. Might end up decluttering this one in the future. Okay, then we have another one that's kind of a hybrid. Um, it's a little more opaque. It's kind of in a milky base, not quite a clear base. This one is on the flip side. Really pretty, but it's, like I said, kind of in a milky base. Okay, and then I have a few of their kind of like fine speckled toppers, and you guys know I'm obsessed, really, really into the speckled look. Um, so I got pretty much all the ones that I could find. There's still like, I think, one or two more that I couldn't find anywhere that were sold out everywhere. Um, Color Club's green piece, and this is just green, fine green and white speckles. So cute. I want to say my swatch pictures, some of them are hard to see on the nails, on the naked nails, um, but over, when I swatch them over other polishes, they're beautiful. I'm gonna love them, I know it. This one is Love You to Pieces, and this one's kind of like a little purpley blue one. And they all have little tiny white speckles too. Really pretty, like this one. Okay, then we have a gray one. This one is Subway Station. This is a soft gray with white. Okay, then we have Orange Crush. This one, I believe, is very, very, very hard to see on the nail, um, like at all. I feel like this might have faded because I remember the swatches like swatch pictures, I remember it being a much more vibrant orange. I could be wrong, um, but now it's kind of faded to a peachy, like a peachy yellow almost. I don't know. I feel like this one is off. Okay, and then the last one is the blue version, and this one is blue beaded. Really pretty. All right, you guys, that was the last of my glitter collection. Um, after this, look forward to my untried videos. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next